وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A questioner asked, I'm a sick patient who has been taking medication for a number of years. However, I recently found out that it has haram substances in it. I am now confused as to what I should do. Please advise me. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, lahu alhamdul hasan wa thanao aljameel, wa shadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa hadahu la sharika lah, yaqulu alhaqa wa huwa yahdi al-sabeel, wa shadu anna Muhammad al-abdu huwa rasooluh, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ina lahum bi ihsanin ila yawmi al-deeni amma ba'd. What I want to say to the question inshaAllah ta'ala is that if the substance or the medicine uh, any substance generally speaking if it's mixed with something else and the reality of that thing changes um, maybe some chemical stuff was put in there or etc and then it changes the substance changes because of uh yeah, I mean, things that were done to it then the ruling changes i mean the ruling becomes permissibility so if a medic medic med- medicine has for example uh pork in there or and the person realizes that it's been changed things were done to it then the ruling goes to permissibility and it's permissible for you to use it because the asal for things that we benefit from is permissibility and that's something which is muqarrar fi ilm al-usul you study that in ilm al-usul and Allah says it in the Quran Allah created everything on this earth for you. Also, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith of Imam Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah narrated in hadith of Salman radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Sheikh Nasir ground, graded this hadith to be hasan in his sahih al-jami'ah. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Al-halalu ma ahallahu allahu fi kitabi, wal-haramu ma ahallahu allahu fi kitabi, wa ma sakata anhu fa huwa mimma a'fa'al. That which Allah made halal in his book, يعني the Quran, it's halal. And whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made haram in his book, يعني the Quran, is haram. And whatever Allah is silent about, then it is permissible for you. So if something gets changed, the medicine gets changed, it gets put through a process and it changes, then it goes to permissibility and it's allowed for us to use. Because the asal and the default position is what? The default position is the permissibility of using something unless there comes that which prohibits it. For example, the khamar is haram. We're not allowed to drink khamar. It's muharramun shurbuha. Drinking it is haram. And the isti'mal, using khamar is also haram. But if the reality of the khamar changes because of substance that are added to it, or it goes through a process which it changes, then it becomes permissible. And the evidence is for that is the hadith that Imam Muslim narrated in his Sahih al hadithi Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, may Allah be pleased with her, and her father. She said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ni'ma al-udumu aw al-idamu al-khallu. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, blessed is the udum or the idam. And referring to the khal, yani the vinegar. And the vinegar is the alcohol which got changed. It went through a a process which changed it. But if the uh, alcohol or the pork goes through a process, but the reality is still there, it hasn't really fully been changed, the reality is still there, then the, the ruling is impermissibility, impermissibility. For example, if the alcohol gets turned into a hard substance, maybe the alcohol gets turned into like a sweet, for example, um, and it doesn't make it permissible. It doesn't make it permissible just because it got changed from one form to another. But what we're talking about here is the reality is changed. And the evidence to show that if something small gets changed from its descriptions, uh, it doesn't necessarily make it permissible is the hadith that Imam Bukhari and Muslim both narrated in hadith Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. The Prophet said, Qatal Allahu al-Yahuda. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy the Jews. In Allah harrama shuhumaha. Allah he prohibited the flesh from them. Then what did they do? Jamaluhu thumma ba'uhu fa'akalu tamanahu. Allah prohibited from them the meat. So what did they do? 
they the hadith says jamalu the word jamal here means they i mean they melted it they melted the meat and they tried to utilize it in another way the reality is still there they haven't changed the reality they're still using that which they was made permissible for them and from that perspective i say that the medicine that the person is asking about it requires experts to look at it p doctors uh, physicians uh, chemists for example ask them speak to them about it if they mention that the uh, pork that was used in this medicine for example the reality is still there then it's impermissible but if they say a description of it has been changed it's just yani uh, the, so if they say the reality is there then it's impermissible for the person to utilize it if they say the reality has been changed and the the true essence of the pork is no longer present in the situation then it's permissible allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's allowed it for us and permitted for us to utilize it but if a person needs to use a medicine and there is something haram in that medicine and the person must must use it it's a necessary it's a, a serious situation for them then they are allowed to use it based on the ayah surah al-an'am where allah says وَقَدْ فَصَّلَ لَكُمْ مَا حَرَّمَ عَلَيْكُمْ إِلَّا مَنْ ضُرِرْتُمْ إِلَيْهِ also the qa'idah which the scholars they say but the person must know that when they get better they are not allowed to still carry on uh, taking that medicine because uh, the, the يعني, that which is made haram from you uh, is only made permissible for you when there is a necessity and a need for it and it has to be in line with the amount of need there is uh, والعلم عند الله تبارك وتعالى وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه وآله وصحبه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما سبحانك اللهم بحمد أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series then you can email us at questions at amau.org